pleasant Thursday evening here in Cable 6. It's a pleasant winter's night at Exhibition Park, Wednesday night. Track is good, temperature about minus 2 Celsius. What could you hope for in the middle of January? 11 thrilling races for you tonight. Do hope you enjoy the show, and here we go with race one. And we're all set down for the first race, field five. Approaching the top of the stretch, we have Macmore Epcot with Winston Campbell, Little Inspector Ross McDonald. Peter Muir with Bob Stevenson, Champ Pyro, Herm Riddell, and Kilker and Cloud with Gary Vincent, and here they come. They're off, and Kilker and Cloud to the top up on the inside, Macmore Epcot. Racing is second on the outside, Champ Pyro, then Peter Muir on the rail. Little Inspector treading the field as they work around the turn, going to the eighth. Kilker and Cloud on top, a length and a half. Macmore Epcot racing a second. Peter Muir his third. Champ Pyro on the outside racing on from fourth. And a little inspector trailing the field as they race to the quarter. Out from second, challenging four and taking the lead is Macmore Epcot. Now on top and moving up by a length as they go racing on by the quarter, 31 and three. Macmore Epcot. Kill Karen Cloud and now on the outside, Champ Pyro bits for second. Then Kill Karen Cloud, Peter Muir. Little Inspector trailing the field as they come racing to the three-eighths, and they're by that marker now, and here they come. They're swinging through the stretch and driving out of the half and up front. Pacing on top, Mac Moore, Epcot, Chap Byro on the outside, charging a second. Kilker and Cloud is third. That is Peter Muir racing fourth. Little Inspector trails a fifth as they go racing by the half in three and four. Way rid of the turn now, racing out of the five eights, and they're battling neck and neck for the lead. On the inside, Mac Moore Epcot. On the outside, Champ Pyro. Kill Karen Cloud has a third. Peter Mayer is fourth. Little Inspector moving up on the inside, fifth, and they've raced to the three quarters now. Champ Pyro grabs the top. Then Mac Moore Epcot is second. Peter Mayer drives on to third, not going off. Peter Mayer. Is now second, it is Champ Pyro pacing on top as they go racing by the three quarters, 137. Out of the top turn, Champ Pyro and Peter Muir. Little Inspector now driving a third. Macmore Epcot is a fourth. Gil Karen Cloud is fifth. Coming to the seven eighths, it is Champ Pyro with Peter Muir charging a second. They hit the head of the lane and they swing for home now. Champ Pyro, Peter Muir around the outside comes to the top. Peter Mayer, Champ Pyro, Little Inspector coming on, so is Kilker and Cloud. Here they are at the line, it is Peter Mayer. Then tight for second, Champ Pyro, and Little Inspector Kilker and Cloud for fourth. The time of the mile, to ten and four. And for rating now, the winner of the first race, number four, Peter Mayer. Pacing horse, he's four. He's by Romeo Zimich, out of sale over. Owned by Robert Robert Simpson of Presque Isle, Maine. A trained and driven by Bob Stevenson. Your winner tonight, two, ten, and four. Fresh, now official. Macmore Epcot was fifth. Traveling Lady ruled out. Little Inspector was second. Peter Mayer, your race winner. Champ Pyro was third, and Kilcar and Cloud was fourth. The race time's quarter, 31 and three. The half, 103 and four. The three quarters, 137. Time for the mile, 2, 10 and four. Your exact at four and three, paid 32, 20. We're all set now for the second race of field of six approaching the top of the stretch. Then it's up with John Shannon, Gambling Dog and Blonnie Stokes. Columbia Luke with Peter Tricartan, Queen Lynx, Ross McDonald. Cedars Pointer, John Davidson, Fort Tax with Steve Maharm, and here they come. Clear off Columbia Luke bids for the late Cedars Porter challenging forward on the outside. Port Tax is three flat, racing a third. Son of Dust has a fourth gambling Doug Queen Lynx. 
Around the turn, Cedar's Porter moves to the top, and he's a leader by a length as they race on by the end. Up the back stretch onto the quarter, Cedar's Porter, Columbia Lucas second, Port Tax on the rail now third, Son of Dust has a fourth, Gambling Doug is fifth, and Queen Lakes trails as they go to the quarter in Cedar's Porter a length. Columbia Luke is second, Port Tax is third, quarter 32 seconds. They're out of the top turn, Cedars Point of Relax. Columbia Luke up tight second, Port Tax is third, Set of Dust is fourth. Then it is Gambling Doug and Queen Lynx trailing as they come to the three-eighths pole. And they're by that marker now and swinging through the stretch and racing onto the half. Cedars Point shows the way. Columbia Luke is racing a second, Port Tax third. Son of Dust is a fourth, Gambling Doug out moving, and here comes Port Tax, rushing on to second, he goes swinging for the lead, as they go racing off by the half and six. End of the turn, now they race on to the five-eighths, Port Tax the leader on the outside, Cedars Porter again on the inside, Port Tax racing a second, Columbia Luke is third, Son of Dust, Gambling Doug, and Queen Lex, they're by the five-eighths, and it's on to the three-quarter pole now. It is Cedars Porter. Then Port Tax challenging on the outside, racing a second. Cedars Pointer, Port Tax. Then on the inside, Son of Dust. Columbia Luke now fourth. Then Queen Lakes and a Gambling Doug. Three quarters, 137 and four. Out of the top turn, Cedars Pointer. Then Port Tax is hanging a second. Wide on the outside. Columbia Luke driving on their three wide neck and neck as they swing for home. And it is a Port Tax, Columbia Luke on the outside. They're neck at neck. Cedars Porter is third. It is Port Tax, Columbia Luke, neck at neck. Here they are to the line. Uh, Port Tax, Columbia Luke, son of Dustin, Cedars Porter. Time for the mile. Two and a In the photo for win, number six, Port Tax, Bay Pacing Yelding 5, a Tarport effort. From Melanie LaBelle, owned by Brian Culligan of Fredericton, trained and driven by Steve Mahar. Also in the photo, not parading, number three, Columbia Luke. Bay Gelding 12, a Columbia George from Yankee Pixie. Owned, trained, and driven by Peter Tecarton of St. John. We're waiting for a photo for win. Now the result of the second race, now official, Son of Dust was third. Gambling Doug, sixth. Columbia Luke was second. Queen Lynx, fifth. Cedars Pointer was fourth, and Port Tax, your race winner. Times a quarter, 32 seconds. They were at the half in 406. Three quarters, one, 37 and four. And the mile, two, nine and three. Feature pays, exact is six, three. Page 16, 50. Triact is six, three, one. 55, 50. Daily double four six paid eight dollars twenty cents. And we're all set now for the third with a field of nine approaching the top of the stretch. The Shake Me I Fly with Steve Mahar, J. G. with Freddie Charlton, Revelry and Ross McDonald, Bozo's Son with Gary Vincent, Dart Common, Tony Haig, More Mac Coral with Doug Falkins, Glenn Cross, Jody Hennessy. Denny's Nad with Tom Mason at Automate Irish and John Davidson, and here they come. There, I'm shaking my eye from high, the leader on the inside, up on the outside, from outside, Glenn Cross drives on two seconds. J.G. said he's recovering on the trail, is racing up third. Around the turn, shake me eye from high, leads for two. J.G. is racing a second. Driving up on the outside, Glenn Cross gets to uh, third, is racing on, then on the rail. It is Olamite Irish, then the Dark Gummin, uh, more Matt Coral. They revelry in and uh, moving up on the outside, Bozo's son, Denny's Nad trails, and they're by the quarter in 32 seconds, racing into the top turn. Facing on top, but a shake me, I fly. J.G.'s racing second, Glenn Cross hangs third, Olamite Irish, Dart Common, more Mac Coral on the outside. They're by the three-eighths now, and here they come, swinging through the stretch, and they're racing on to the half. Shake Me I Fly has the best of the little length, J.G. racing a second, Olamite Irish out challenging now, going on to second, J.G. third, Dart Common gets to fourth, Glenn Cross is fifth. 
then going up on the outside. It is Revelry in. They were by the half and five. Into the turn now. They race on to the five-eighths. Shake me, I fly the leader. J.G. second. Automite Ivory's third again. Dark Garmin has a fourth. Then a Revelry in. Moving up fifth on the outside. Then a Bozo Sun Glen across. Denny's Ned. More Mac Coral now trails. On to the three-quarter shake me. I fly in. J.G. out to challenge from second. At the leader's wheel. Racing on. Dark Garmin moving up on the inside third, Automat Irish fourth. Then Revelry N moving up on the inside, gets to fourth, Automat Irish fifth, Bozo Sun. Then Denny's Ned, Glen Cross, Mormac Coral. They were by the three quarters, 38 and one. Now they're by the seven eights and they come swinging home. And JG pacing it on top now. JG with Shake Me I Fly racing second. Driving up on the outside, Dark Garmin comes to second. It's JG, Dark Garmin, here they are. At the line, J.G., Dart Garmin, Revelry Ann, and Shake Me I Fly, and the time of the mile, 2.10 and 2. Well, the result of the third race now, official Shake Me I Fly was fourth. J.G., your race winner, Revelry N was third. Bozo Sun, sixth. Dart Garmin, second. Mormac Coral, eighth. Glenn Cross was ninth. Denny's Nad, fifth. All about Irish was seventh. And the race time's quarter, 32 seconds. The half at 105. Three quarters, 138 and one. A time for the mile, 2, 10, and 2. Exact at 2, 5, paid 22, 60. Triact at 2, 5, 3, paid 3, 0, 7, 90. And we're all set now for the fourth race. Field of eight approaching the top of the stretch.
come. They're off at Ragtime Skipper now from the far outside. It's high fly. They're battling for the lead. Ragtime Skipper the leader. Moving to the rail and matchless waters now second. High fly. Outside. Racing on the third. Mountain North is a fourth. Hummer Gobble is fifth. Then Lucto's playing with the outside trot. It's the top. High fly moving on top. Then the ragtime skipper's racing a second. Matchless Waters is third. Then it's Mountain North fourth. Lactose Flame outside fifth. Legitimate Power Hummer Common Locust Tour. Jacqueline, quarter 31 at one. Racing into the top turn. And a pacing out on top of his high fly. A ragtime skipper now. High fly second. Lactose Flame on the outside. Trots on the third. Legitimate Power is fourth. They swing on through the stretch, come driving to the half. Ragtime skipper, high fly. Lactose flame on the outside, trots on third. Matchless Winters is fourth. Mountain North outside with cover fifth. Then legitimate power, Hummer, Gum, and Jacqueline. And a locust tour on the outside. They were by the half and four and three, and they swing into the turn and go driving on to the five eighths. Ragtime the skipper, the leader. High fly, racing a second. Lactose Flame outside, trots on third, Matchless Winters is fourth, Mountain North racing fifth, Hummer Garmin, Legitimate Power Jacqueline, Locust Tour, on to the three quarters, Ragtime Skipper but two, High Fly, Lactose Flame in between horses, trots third, Matchless Winters, Mountain North three wide racing on, three quarters, 36 and two, they swing into the top turn, Ragtime Skipper and High Fly. Then on the uh, rail, Matchless Winters, Mountain North, three wide is fourth, and Lactose Flame. They come by the seven eights and they spring for home, the trotters on the run. Pacing on top, Ragtime Skipper, high fly, Mountain North, Matchless Winters. It is gonna be Ragtime Skipper, and uh, here they are at the line, Ragtime Skipper, then high fly, tight for sure, Matchless Winters, and Mountain North, and the time for the mile. 207 at 1. Number 4, Ragtime Skipper, Bay Pacing Gelding 8, by Mr. Skipper from Star News. Owned by Norman Lord and Galen Dempsey of Rolling Dam, trained in. Other result of the fifth race. Now, official, Matchless Winters was fourth. Hummer Gummon, fifth. Jacqueline, sixth. Ragtime Skipper, your race winner. Lectos Flame was ninth. Locust Tour, 8th. Legitimate Power was 7th. High Fly, 2nd. And Mountain North was 3rd. Times a quarter, 31 and 4. The half, 104 and 3. Three quarters, 1, 36 and 2. And the mile, 2, 7 and 1. You're exacted 4 and 8. No tickets sold. The 4 9 combination returning $11.60. And the triactive 4 8 9. Paid $380.50. All set now for the sixth race, field of seven approaching top of the stretch. Shiloh Mallison with Ross McDonald, Kelly Tuck Ideal, and Jody Hennessy. R.E.'s Colt with Brian Moore, J.B. Pendle, Sean Shannon. 3D Dodger with Gary Vincent, Taverns Dan, Steve Mahar, Shadow Lady, and Bob Stevenson, and here they come. Clear off, and Kelly Tuck Ideal is the leader. Up on the outside, J.B. Pendle second. R.V.'s Colt racing at third. Moves to the rail. 3D Dodger. Outside, he's racing on the fourth. Shalom Allison has a fifth. Tavern's Dan Shadow Lady. By the eighth port and on up the back stretch, driving on to the quarter. Kelly Tuck, ideal the leader. J.B. Pendle up and at him on the outside. J.B. Pendle now grabs the top and Kelly Tuck, ideal. Racing a second. R.V.'s Colt third. 3D Dodger's racing a fourth. Shalom, Allison, Taverns, Dan, Shadow, Lady, quarter, 30 and four-fifths out from second. That goes Kelly Tuck, Ideal. Wings forward, he takes the lead, and J.B. Pendles back to second again. Ari's Colts racing a third, 3 deep Dodger is fourth. They swing on through the stretch down, and here they come, racing to the half. Kelly Tuck, Ideal, shows the way, J.B. Pendle is second. Ari's Colt racing third, 3 deep Dodger out to move now from a fourth. And back in as R.E.'s Colt is out. Then it's Shalom Allison, Shadow Lady on the inside. Taverns Dan 
And they were by the half and four and three. Racing into the turn, they drive on to the five-eighths. Kelly Tuck ideal. J.B. Pendle second. Darby's Colt third. Shadow Lady fourth. 3D Dodger Taverns, Dan Shalom Mallison on the run. Inquiry sign is up. Racing to the three quarters. Kelly Tuck ideal, a length and a half, and J.B. Pendle second. Shadow Lady now third. R.E.'s caught fourth. Taverns down, 3D Dodger. 135 and two by the three quarters. They swing into the top turn. Kelly Tuck ideal, a length. J.B. Pendle racing second. Shadow Lady has third. Taverns down a strong fourth. They're by the seven eights now and they swing for home and it is Kelly Tuck ideal. J.B. Pendle racing second. Shadow Lady driving third coming on to second. Taverns down outside closing fast. Now Shadow Lady coming to the top. Here they are at the line. It is a Shadow Lady tight for place. Taverns down. Kelly Tuck ideal. J.B. Pendle fourth. Time for the mile, 2.08 at 1. Free shot of the sixth race now, official. Shalom Allison, seventh. Kelly Tuck Ideal was third. Ari's caught sixth. J.B. Pendle, fourth. 3D Dodger was fifth. Tavern Stan, second. And Shadow Lady, your race winner. Race times, quarter 30 and four fifths. The half, 104 and three. Three quarters, 135 and two. And the mile, two, eight and one. Cronella, six and seven, paid 17 at 20. Triactus, seven, six, two, paid 218 at 20. All set down to the seventh race. Still at nine, approaching top of the stretch we have. Adios, Stephen, Elmore White, Holiday Adios, Brian Moore, Gaelic Calvary, Herman Riddell, Island Candy, Robert Fowler. Star to be with Steve Mahar, some quick Ross McDonald, Mickey Freeze and Gary Vincent, Wicked Sip, Freddie Charlton, Curious Girl, Sean Shannon. Here they come. Clear off an island, Candy grabs the top, some quick in the outside, racing a second, Gaelic Calvary has third on the inside, they swing around the turn, and uh, pacing up on the outside, some quick goes to the top, island, Candy second, then Mickey Freeze drives up to third on the outside, they're up the back stretch, racing on to the quarter, some quick the leader, then racing up on the outside, Mickey Freeze to second, on the rail island, Candy third, and Mickey Freeze grabs the top now. Some quick racing is second. Going up on the outside, Wicked Sip is now third. Island Candy fourth, 32 and two by the quarter. Then it is a Gaelic Calvary Curious Girl on the outside, star to be. Holiday Adios and Daddyo Stephen trailing as they come to the three eights, and they're by that marker now. And here they come through the stretch, they're racing to the half. Mickey Freeze is cutting it out. Then Wicked Sip has covered behind them, racing second. Some Quick has third. Then it is uh, Island the Candy Curious Girl coming up on the outside on to fourth. Behind her with cover, Holiday Adios. Then Gaelic Calvary starting to be out to move. Adios, Stephen trailing. The half is in five and one. Around the turn they race now to the five-eighths. Pacing on top, Mickey Freeze. Then Wicked Sip is second, some quick third, Curious Girl fourth on the outside. Island Candy has a fifth, Holiday Adios outside going on to fifth. It is a Mickey Freeze and Wicked Sip out to challenge now from second. Some quick going up on the inside third, Curious Girl outside is fourth, Island Candy racing a fifth. Holiday Adios outside, Gaelic Calories start to be Adios Stephen, 139 and two by the three quarters. Into the top turn, they're neck and neck for the lead. On the inside, Mickey Freeze outside. Wicked Sip, some quick swings out. Three wide to rush on. Island Candy is a fourth. They head for home. It's Wicked Sip now and some quick. Up strong on the outside and some quick comes pacing it to the top. Wicked Sip is second. Here they are at the line. Some quick, Wicked Sip. Then Island Candy looks like maybe Mickey Freeze for fourth. And the time for the mile, 2.12 and 3. Out of result of the seventh race, now official, Adios Stephen, ninth. 
Holiday Adios, sixth. Gaelic Calorie, fourth. Island Candy, third. Star to be was seventh. Some quick, your face winner, Mickey Freeze was fifth. Wicked Sip, second, and Curious Girl was eighth. Race times, quarter, 32 and two. Half, 105 and one. The three quarters, 139 and two. The bar, 212 and three. Cronulla, 6 8, paid 98 90. Try at 6 8 4, worth $949.30. And we're all set now for the eighth race. We have a field of eggs. They're approaching the top of the track. Flag Sundance of Lonnie Jones. Flying Penn, Gary, Vincent, King, Beak, and Steve Mahar. Lord of all with Winston Campbell. Hold the line, Jody Hennessy. P.H.F. Luella, Doug Falcon, City Feud with Brian Moore, A.C.'s Peter with Tom Mason. Here they come. They're off battling out of there going to the uh, top. It is uh, into the turn facing out on top, P.H.F. Luella. And racing up on the outside, Steady Feud, Flag Sundance off stride. The inquiry sign going up. Racing up the back trips, they drive on to the corner. The HF Luella, the leader, then the Steady Feud is second. Flying Penn to third, Flag Sundance fourth. AC's Peter, King to Beacon, hold the line. And Lord and Old far back. As they race on by the opening quarter, 30 and four fifths. Third into the top turn, PHF Luella, the leader, Steady Feud, Flying Penn. Goes up on the outside, he now grabs second. Steady Feud is third, AC's Peter Park, racing fourth with cover. They come by the three and four mile and swing on through the stretch. And they come racing on to the half, PHF Luella, the leader. Flying Penn is second, Steady Feud, now AC's Peter to third, Steady Feud is fourth. And Flag Sundance hold the line, King's Beacon, far back. Out of contention, nor to mole. They were by the half and four and four. Around the turn, they race on to the uh, five-eighths. P.H.F. Luella pacing on top, and the flying pen has second. Steady view third. A.C.'s Peter outside fourth. Flag Sundance hold the line. King's Beacon on to the three-quarters. P.H.F. Luella leads for two. Flying pen racing a second. That is hold the line, swinging out three wide, rushing on. He gets to third and going off to the leader as they go racing on five and three quarters. Then 138 and one, P.H.F. Luella still leads for two. Hold the line, gets to second on the outside, flying pen back to second. Hold the line to third. King's Beacon swings wide, racing a fourth. Steady Butte is fifth in the rail. A.C.'s Peter Flag Sundance. They swing for home, P.H.F. Luella. Still has her lead. Hold the line, challenging second. King's Beacon coming on third. But it's going to be P.H.F. Luella. Here they are at the line. P.H.F. Luella. Then hold the line, tight for third. Between Flying Penn and King's Beacon. And the time for the mile, 2, 10, and 3. And the result of the eighth race. Now official, Flag Sundance, sixth place, fifth. Flying Penn was fourth. King's Beacon, third. Door to ball was eighth. Hold the line second. P.H.F. Luella, your race winner. Steady Butte finished set fifth, placed seventh. Set back for interference to number one flag Sundance and interference to number eight A.C.'s Peter. A.C.'s Peter finished seventh, was placed sixth. Race times quarter thirty and four fifths. Half foot on four and four, three quarters, one and thirty eight and one, and the mile to ten and three. Cronulla, 56, no tickets sold. Mutuals paying 3 and 6, that paid 142.50. Triactive, 653. $2,186. We're all set for the ninth race. Field of eight approaching top of the stretch. Lady Tricia Bill Nicholson, Old Time Robbie, Ross McDonald, Repeat Power, Mike Doyle, Sugar Skipper Steve Lidstone, Beth Sealster, Mike Downey. Snake Charmer, Steve Mahar, Kiowa Alma Hurst, Jody Hadassi, Glenn Luster, Steve Mason. Here they come. Clear off, Lady Tricia's on the run, and Beth Sealster quickly grabs the top, up winging on the outside. Kiowa Alma Hurst racing a second. 
All-time Robbie's on the rail at racing third, and Glenn Luster drives on. He's now third. As they go racing by the eighth, Glenn Luster gets to second, takes after the leader. The leader, Beth Seelster. Glenn Luster up and out over the outside, racing for the top. They're neck and neck it now. Glenn Luster grabs the top. Beth Seelster's racing second. Kiowa Alma Hurst third. Old Time Robbie's fourth. Then it's repeat power. Sugar Skipper Snake Charmer Lady Tricia Quarter 31. Round the top turn Glenn Luster, Beth Seelster, Kiowa Alma Hurst. Then Old Time Robbie repeat powers up moving now from fifth and rushing up. Sugar Skipper moves with cover behind him. Then Snake Charmer Lady Tricia they come racing to the half. Glenn Luster shows the way. He's the leader of length. Beth Seelster is a second. Repeat power comes to third. Then Kiowa Alma Hurst is fourth. Sugar Skipper outside fifth. Then it's old time Robbie Snake Charmer Lady Tricia. They were by the half and four. Racing into the turn now, they drive on to the five eighths and Glenn Luster pacing on top. Then repeat power gets to second. Beth Seelster's racing a third. Then Sugar Skipper goes to uh, fourth. Kiowa Alma Hurst locked in fifth. Then it's Snake Charmer, old time Robbie moving between horses. Lady Tricia, they're tight as they race on to the three quarters and Glenn Luster still has his lead. Repeat Powers racing a second on the rail. Beth Seelster is looking for room. She's racing third and they were by the three quarters and 36. Snake Charmer three wide, now racing a fourth. Sugar Skipper fifth, looking for room. Then Kiowa Almahurst, no room for him. Old time Robbie, Lady Tricia. They come a swinging for home. It is Glenn the Luster. Repeat power charging up a second. On the outside, Snake Charmer. Wide, old time Robbie. Sugar Skipper between horses. Six of them at the line together. Tight, too tight to call. Maybe Beth Seelster, old time Robbie. And the time for the mile. Two, seven and two. Photo for when? For adding number two, all time Robbie. Bay pacing, yielding nine, but Newport Robbie from Ohio's Bell. On by Harry Simmons of Sherwood, Prince Edward Island, trained by Stuart Hansen, Ross McDonald driving. And number five, Beth Silster. Bay pacing, mare six, but Tarport Count from Barbara's Chip. All but Dave Kaleel of Fredericton, trained and driven by Mike Downey. The mile two, seven, and two, and we are waiting for a photo for when? Place and show. All set for the 10th, field of nine. Marcus Midwatch at Mike Downey. Miramichi Dash, John Davidson. Hasty Big Don Bickford. More Mike Dars with Steve Mahar. Tuxedo's Thorpe with Bill Nicholson. Freddie Dream with Randy Phillips. English Connolly, Bertie Charlton. The Bovier, Steve Mason. Racy Riddell with Winston Campbell. And here they come. They're off and winging for the lead. It's more Mac Dars, Tuxedo's Thorpe outside. That's Miramichi Dash trailing off stride back pacing around the turn. More Mac Dars, the leader, Tuxedo's Thorpe. Charging up second on the outside. Then the Freddy Dream goes to third. Marcus Midwatch is on the rail and racing a fourth. English Colony is fifth. Freddy Dream drives on. He's second. Left on the leader. Freddy Dream grabs the lead. It's Freddy Dream and more Mac Dars, Tuxedo's Thorpe third. Marcus Midwatch is fourth. That's Lebovier moving up on the outside. The quarter 30 and two. They swing into the top turn and pacing on top. It is Freddie Dream. He's out a length and a half. More Mac Dars is racing a second. Then in for third, Tuxedo's Thorpe. Marcus Midwatch is fourth. They're by the three eighths and on through the stretch. Here they come, racing on to the half. Pacing on top, Freddie Dream. More Mac Dars, Tuxedo's Thorpe. Lebovier now fourth. Marcus Midwatch in the rail fifth. Miramichi Dash outside sixth with cover. English Colony, Hasty Beck, and Racy Riddell trails the half to three and three. Out of the turn, they drive on to the five eight Freddy Dream showing the way. More MacDar is racing a second. LaBovier and Tuxedo's Thorpe and Marcus Midwatch. Up the back stretch on to the three quarters now. Freddy Dream and more MacDars. LaBovier gets to third. Tuxedo's Thorpe is a fourth. Marcus Midwatch, Miramichi Dash, Hasty Bick out three wide. Then English Colony and Racy Riddell as they go by the three quarters. By the marker, 35 at one. Into the top turn, Freddie Dream. More Macdars challenging a second, moving up on the leader. 
Tuxedo's Thorpe and LaFauve, Bier, Marcus Midwatch is a fifth. They come by the seven eights, and it's Freddie Dream with more Mac Doris coming to him. Heading home, Freddie Dream on the inside. More Mac Doris now upon the outside, grabs the top, but it's more Mac Doris. Freddie Dream, LaFauve, Bier, here they are at the line. More Mac Doris than Freddie Dream. Then LaFauve, Tuxedo's Thorpe. Time for the mile. 2.06 and 2. Correcting now the winner of the 10th, number 4, Mormack Doris. Baymar 5, but John the 3rd from Mary Stone on Badon Mahar of St. John. And train Badon Mahar, Steve Mahar driving. Your winner, 2.06 and 2. Now the result of the 10th race. Result of the 10th race, Marcus Midwatch 4th, Miramichi Dash was placed 7th. Hasty pick seventh place, ninth. Sit back for interference in the home stretch. More Mac Doris, your race winner. Tuxedo's Thorpe was fifth. Freddie Dream second. English Colony sixth. Lepovier third. Racy Riddell was placed eighth. Times quarter thirty and two fifths. Half one on three and three. Three quarters thirty five and one. The mile to six and two. Quinella four six. C eleven seventy. Triactive four six eight. $339.30. And we're all set now for the 11th race. Field of nine, approaching top of the stretch, Charger Whitaker with Bob Craig, Harmony Greenwood, Steve Mahar, Glenn Gow, Sterling, Leroy Vincent, Turnpikes, Tequila, Doug Falkins, P.H. Pacer, Gary Vincent, Mormack, Dinah, John Davidson, Times two, Jody Hennessy, star son Bob Stevenson. Joy down with Steve Mason. Here they come. They're off and pacing to the top. Glenn Gal, Sterling Harmony Greenwood is a racing a second. Turnpike's Tequila has third on the rail. Joy down now, fourth star son is racing a fifth. Around the turn, pacing and top now. It is Harmony Greenwood by the eighth. Then Glen Gal Sterling is second. Turnpike's to kill a third. Joy down fourth. Star Sonny is the fifth. Then it's B.H. Pacer times a two. Charger Whitaker and trailing off stride on the run again. More Mac Dinah. They go by the quarter. Harmony Greenwood leads a length. Then Glen Gal the Sterling racing second. The quarter 32 and one. Turnpike's to kill is racing a third. Rising up on the outside, driving fourth comes Joy down. P8 Pacer outside fifth. Star Sun times two. And the Charger Whitaker out of contention. More Mac Dinah. They come racing through the stretch. Pacing it on top. The leader is Harmony Greenwood. Glengall Sterling second. Joy down hangs at third. Then Turnpike's to get a fourth. Then P8 Pacer. Star Sun times two. Charger Whitaker. They were by the half and six and two, and into the turn they go racing now to the five eights. And a pacing on top, Harmony Greenwood. Then Glenn Gal Sterling is second, Joy down drives third. Turnpike's to kill is locked in fourth. PH Pacer outside fifth. Then it's Starson times two, swinging to the outside, rushing on. Charger whatever trails. They're tight as they go to the three quarters, and Harmony Greenwood's on top full length. Glenn Gal Sterling's racing a second. P.H. Pacer a wide to third. Joy down four, three quarters, 39. Turn Pikes Tequila times two, star sun. And a charger, whatever. Round the turn. Harmony Greenwood still has her lead. Then P.H. Pacer and Glenn Gow Sterling, and they swing for home. Harmony Greenwood, P.H. Pacer driving on. Here comes Glenn Gow Sterling. Three of them neck and neck. Turn Pikes Tequila outside fourth. And uh, here they are, going to be tight at the line. Looks like Harmony Greenwood, Glengall Sterling, P.H. Pacer, and a turn, Pikes Tequila. The time for the mile to 10 and 4. Hell of a of the 11th race now. Official Charger, whatever, 7th, Harmony Greenwood, your race winner. Glengall Sterling was second. Turn, Pikes Tequila, fourth place, third. P.H. Pacer finished third, place six, set back for interference to Joy Down. More Mac Dinah, ninth, times two was eighth. Star Sun, fifth, placed fourth. Joy Down, sixth, placed fifth. Times quarter, 32 at one. The half, 106 and two. 
three quarters, one thirty-nine, mile two, ten and four. Exacted twenty-three, paid fifty-four dollars. Triacted two, three, four, paid eight, fifty-one seventy. Well, that's our Hottest Racing program for this Wednesday night. A long session here at the track for the Fallen Horse. What? Wednesday night, a long session here at the track for the Fallen Horse before we get the first race underway. All kinds of photos and objections, inquiries, and uh, we've had some driving infractions as well. Brian Moore getting four days for interference. Another five for another interference call, and Donnie Bigford gets five days for interference. Want to remind you, uh, the coming up Saturday, the second leg, of the Blizzard Series. We'll also have as guests of our track here on Saturday, members of the North All-Star Hockey Team and members of the South All-Star Hockey Team. They're in town, of course, for their big banquet on uh, Saturday night and the annual North-South All-Star Game Sunday afternoon at 1. We'll have races named in their honor here Saturday afternoon. Do hope that you've enjoyed our show. Our wagering tonight, 44,041. That's representative of roughly a 60% increase over the corresponding night of a year ago. Our next card then Saturday afternoon at 1.30. We'd love to see you here at Trackside. If you can't pick us up here, get us Cable 6 Sunday night at 9. On behalf of my cameraman tonight, Ken Gormley, and our VCR man, Dwayne Weaver, complete with gremlins again tonight. We hope to get them out of the way soon. From Exhibition Park, Ingham Palmer, it's been a pleasure. <laughs>